Thanks. Thank you for coming. I know it's dark and early, and uh, you're used to being on West Coast time, so thank you for being on East Coast time. No problem. Now, you're from Vancouver originally. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your Olympic experience and uh, having the world's biggest spectacle in your hometown. Uh, where do you want to start in terms of highlights? Um, just overall amazing. The, the whole vibe of the city, you know, the volunteers, they, they brought the city to life, in my opinion. I mean, they smiled all day and helped people and really represented Vancouver and Canada. So, um, it was a very positive kind of energy in the air and in the city. And that seemed to reflect in the media, because the media, the impression was this might have been the most fun Olympics people have ever been to. Well, that's good. Um, Obviously, that must have resonated on the on the on the streets with people. Was it definitely. as friendly as people said it was? Yes, definitely, definitely. I mean, people were uh, were just so happy to be there. From if they were from somewhere else, they were just so excited to be in Vancouver, blown away by the beauty. I mean, the weather was kind of hilarious <laughs> for Winter Olympics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I mean, you know, the the events were pulled off. You know, it was fine and. Um, and I believe Vancouver is the most beautiful place in the world on a sunny day, so people actually got to experience that in the middle of winter, which was kind of cool. And you got to perform a couple of times, too. I did, yeah. I had a few shows, and uh, I actually saw some famous people while, while I was downtown, which was kind of cool. Well, I actually saw uh, the Bare Naked Ladies playing ice hockey very early in the morning with a bunch of little <laughs> third graders. It was quite cute. How Canadian is that? It was so Canadian. <laughs> I, I actually stood there saying to myself, I can't believe I'm saying this right now. This is ultimately Canadian. Like, I just can't imagine in, in say, England, like the Rolling Stones up playing soccer with a bunch of great thoughts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's did, a good, good comparison. Did you bump at anybody else? Not really. Um, I can't think of anyone else off the top of my head. What was your favorite event of the uh, Winter Olympics? Uh, well, uh, I had the chance to go to a few hockey games, one of them being um, a women's hockey game out at UBC. And uh, it was actually Slovakia playing Russia, and Canada had, had just slaughtered Slovakia um, in one of the first rounds. And what I didn't know is that actually at the game where we basically killed them, Canada gave them a standing ovation at the end of the game. The fans, did. Them, the fans did. The fans did, where we beat them 18 to nothing. And so at this game, all of a sudden, that energy was transferred to Slovakia, and so the whole stadium was cheering for Slovakia um, when they were playing Russia. And it was just, you know, it was so fun to cheer for the underdog. Definitely, a, you know, it was outside of the city center, so the atmosphere was a little bit more relaxed, and uh, and it was really fun to cheer for them. If yeah. uh, if nothing else, just to get a goal. If, yeah, just score! Two so Score! Uh, Laurel is our guest, and uh, she's got a, a new single out, which she's going to perform in the studio for us coming up. Uh, it's called Can't Stop Fallin'. Uh, we'll take a short break. We'll be back with more. I want to talk a little bit about the single and about the album and about how your musical journey has been, and uh, we'll get a, a live performance coming up. Stay tuned.